Hey YouTube, what goes on? And welcome to this episode of Action Figures, hunt video episode number 108. We're at Target, we're going inside to see what's here. So if you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. So you're told we post new content here on the channel. Leave a comment down below, hit that like button, and daily updates at Instagram, disavowed underscore 12. Let's see what they got. And they'll walk up the Cedar Crest Target. So I've got that two get the third free deal. And we got vultures here. We got two more vultures. We have tons of Eternals. We got a rogue. We got Mobius, not much else. So fortunately, I'm gonna a deal, still not that helpful, but as I pivot, I didn't see this sitting here. We do have tons and tons of our Invisible Woman. So again, just kind of didn't see those right away. Looking to be the only case of FF that I see out, unless they're on the end cap. So I'll go check that after this. Other than that, looking around, not much going on. There's your Transformer stuff that's here. There's our G.I. Joe pig warmers from the Snake Eyes movie. Uh, DC looks to just be the typical stuff we tend to find while we're here. Slow turnaround to this side, and there's our Mo2. So that's everything that's sitting here. Uh, and it looks like there's not much going on over in the wrestling section. Tons of fakers, tons of that. So they're very well stocked on everything. It's just the stuff we've been seeing for the longest of times. AEW, we do have uh, a Jackson. We have a Nyla Rose. And we have another Matt Jackson. There's two mats and a Nyla. Looks to be about it for AEW. Oh, wait a minute. Check this out. That's a score. That's going home. So that's pretty awesome to see. So that's going home with me. And down here, looks like not much else going on here. But we got a Hogan. And I will probably be picking that up. Look at that face sculpt. <laughs> that head sculpt's pretty cool. We got the belt. I did order this, I think, on Amazon. I think this is the one I ordered. I'll have to double check. But that's going to go home with me. Uh, then, otherwise, McIntyre. Again, looks like all typical fare. Unless there's something shoved here and an end cap, which we'll look around. And if there's something decent at the end cap, I'll show you. But that's a cool find on a random hunt. So, uh, and of course, all the Keith Lees and the Bailey. Uh, no Hitman Heart. That would be cool. Um, I'm guessing somebody grabbed him already. So we'll peek around, see what else there is. But that's what's going on here at Cedar Crest Target so far. All right. And stopping by Legends first. And this is my first time seeing the Spider-Man wave uh, here at a Target. So here it looks like dedicated cases as usual. So we have three Doctor Stranges. Oh, we have two of the Spider-Mans. I don't see any other Spider-Man going on here. So oh, well, I'm down here, maybe we have another Spider-Man other spider-man um but that seems to be about it nothing really else but we have our eternals they're sitting here uh and a bunch of rogues and invisible womans so let's see what else and over on the other side we have a beast man wow savage henchman i don't think i've seen this one before uh from the uh, origins line so that's new i believe i guess i haven't seen that yet so that's cool uh, up top we have our uh, peg warmer he-man of course we have our major peg warming two packs that are ridiculous peg warmer of the year perhaps tons of the fakers down below all the vehicles all the battle cats so they've really really did, did a nice job of stocking mo2 this year um here in 2021 up top wrestling just basically older stuff that kind of shots out on clearance yet so that seems to be about it for this particular location we'll swing by NECA but if I don't show you it's just all the same stuff they've had recently and as usual as holiday shop and so does packed here so if I still need to stop talking it's because there's too many people around. And am I talking in front of people and doing a voiceover here in the actual store with them here? But honestly, when it's a whole uh, jam-packed aisle of people, it does get a little awkward. So, all right, let's get over to NECA or let's get over to the next location. And I did look down and notice there was a vulture and also uh, a whole case of crows sitting there. Uh, but as I said, it looks like not too much else here. Uh, Power Rangers, the little guys for the Marvel. Transformer stuff is over here. Again, I honestly don't even really notice all the time when it's something new or old, so I apologize for that. Uh, but at least you get a look of what's here. And same thing, DC Multiverse, nothing crazy going on. Last video, I asked if everybody collects these little guys and nobody commented, so I guess nobody really is. At least not people that watch my videos. But anyway, if you do like watch, do you collect these and you like them, let me know. I'll show them more often. Just leave a comment, let me know. And I thought I'd show NECA and collectors here, the collector section, because it is just demolished. This is so messy over here. Tons of Gundam, lots of Ninja Turtles down there. Uh, they're all over the place, Turtles and Cobra Kai. Uh, but they do have Gunslinger spawn back in stock. So there are two of them there. I saw one yesterday. I think I videoed it though. Um, but as you can see, they also are chock full of the Batcave. Tons and tons and tons of the Batcave up there. 
uh, more of the turtles. As you can see there, I see Michelangelo mostly, I believe, with Daniel LaRusso. Uh, pops, 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 pops. Also very messy over here. But as you can see, we have some NECA Golden Girls, King Kong, um, Homelander. Finally said it right. I've been saying Highlander recently. Uh, then up top, all your basic Super 7 stuff that's always sitting over here. Uh, that's about it. So let's get out of here. And back in Cedar Crest. And yeah, they did put out the thing as well. So definitely dedicated cases. I'll put this up on Instagram. This is about underscore 12. Uh, but yeah, the thing is here. There's at least five of them. Uh, it was a woman I think we saw last time we were here. But uh, yeah, there you go. Starting to have those dedicated cases showing up at your local targets. Uh, but yeah, this again was uh, Cedar Crest. So all right, we are out here and going to see Ghostbusters Afterlife. Maybe I'll show you the intro or something. All right, rolling in. Ghostbusters Afterlife. Let's see what it's like. I'll tell you after. So come on, Eileen's on in the background. So I have to talk over it. But yeah, this is the living room area of the bar because it is a draft house where you can eat and drink while you watch the movie. So we're going to go in and enjoy Ghostbusters Afterlife. All right, so no exaggeration, no hyperbole. That movie was frigging amazing. I've never seen a film handle, I don't wanna to give too much away, <laughs> handle the, a topic the way they addressed it in this film. So let me know in the comments if you saw this movie. I was blown away. I knew it'd be good, never thought it'd be that good. Honestly, just so well, well done on so many levels. So I'll leave it at that. We'll talk more about it on Live at 705 sometime coming up. But if you didn't see this movie, check it out. It is freaking amazing. We're back in Ollie's Bargain Outlet. And look at this, the freaking Boondock Saints reaction figures. What? What year is this from? You're kidding me. I'm sure they only have him, but you've got to be kidding me. I'm scanning for the year, and of course I can't find it. And you're probably looking, there it is, 2015. Man, let's just put that down there for a minute. The cards are bent, but they were, that's even more bent now, but uh, they were to actually have the other brother. If I can get two of them, it'd be worth it. Looks like it's all Connor though, McManus. That is ridiculous. I've never even seen these at a store before. Yeah, it's all Connor. It's all this guy. Um, so the, uh, his brother is in here. Um, Murphy McManus, but cool to see. And we do have our Star Wars end cap, so we have tons and tons of Jar Jar. But check this out, we have first order Jet Trooper, only $13. I mean, it's a little high for this place, so they're probably raising their prices. But we have more of them down here. It looks like we have one, two, two more of those. And we actually have a Skywalker here, we have a Luke. So check that out. See here, is this one we're spelled wrong? Skywalker, nope, they spelled it correctly here. So our Yavin Ceremony, uh, Luke here also. So Luke and of course we have uh, our Jar Jar uh, and we of course have our Jana, Jaina, however you say it. But uh, yeah, tons of uh, Black Series showing up here. Uh, good old number 100. But if you remember, uh, they originally put this out and spelled Skywalker wrong. So they worked so hard to put this out as the 100th figure and they spelled it wrong. <laughs> so the one back there is also looks like a correct spelling. So I'm gonna spot the original because of the novelty of it. And somebody stole Baby Yoda. So we'll look around a bit more, but uh, yeah, check your Ollies if you're near them because they're getting the uh, Stormtroopers in, the Jet Troopers in. We're back in the Tamaqua Walmart. There are just John Cena elites shoved everywhere. There's so many elites for John Cena here and The Rock. They really overestimated the market, I believe, for those, at least the demand. Uh, or it could be wrong. Uh, we got some more elites in the back there, but they have AEW and do they have a Hager? And they do, so they have a Sheeta. They do have our MJF. He's better than you and you know it, but I know six packs of knickknacks required himself a Jake Hager. So boom, getting that for six packs. Back behind, ooh, we have Star Wars here. And we actually have an RS Sing. Um, I just recently picked up uh, my Sasha Banks, as I like to call, uh, Black Series. Um, from the Mandalorian at VR Hobbies in my last hunt video. So give them a follow on Instagram. Check out their online store. They have great stuff. I was just had this fall cascade its way through. Uh, they also had this at VR Hobbies. In fact, they had the entire uh, collection there. Uh, but I picked up the Costco Reeves there or Sasha Banks, as I prefer to call her. Of course, we have Lando. Uh, we even have a uh, Katie Sackoff back there, Bo Katan. 
Uh, if you can see in kind of in the back there, we have another Lando. Lando. But I am not, by any stretch of the means, uh, a giant Black Series collector. I did pick up tech, actually, at this store, I believe. Uh, but I'll be leaving the rest here behind. I'll post them on Instagram. This is about underscore 12. There's our freaking army of Grogu's up there. DC, what you see is what you get. They're pretty stocked up. Working our way down. Basic land down here. There's some Power Rangers going on. Uh, some basic Star Wars stuff. Uh, of course, uh, they always seem to have tons of uh, G.I. Joe here, the little guys, which I heard are going on hiatus because they're bringing back, bringing back the, uh, oh, what do you want to call it? The more traditional figures, the, oh, I forgot the stuff, the, the U. Uh, let me know in the comments. I sound like an idiot. I'm sorry. Uh, they're bringing those back. The rubber band guys are coming back like the original ones we had as a kid. Uh, down here, we do have Cobra Hiss. Uh, that is finally getting clearanced down a couple bucks. I have one of those for full price, but if they got down really low, I'd probably consider doing a bit of an army. Um, just picked up one of these yesterday for the GF. She loves these. Uh, very cool product. But other than that, let's get right, out of here. So O-ring. That's what I was trying to think of. <laughs> really struggling there. I'm embarrassed as a Joe collector. But yeah, O-rings they're bringing back. So those are going on hiatus. But we do the little Ghostbusters. Apparently there's a little code you can use to look up which ones are which uh, that the GF found. Uh, we have our Ghostbuster wands that go on the end of our proton packs. They're chilling here. Um, and other than that, down here is your Transformers. Tons of reds, as always. Uh, down below, we have an Ecto-1. That movie was fantastic. Uh, but other than that, that's all we got going on. I uh, had somebody kind of come up behind me, so I was just to filming. So let's go over and check out NECA. And it is true. I was watching Sleeping Collectibles video recently, uh, and he had said that he found two of these in his Walmart, that they were not uh, in the system when he scanned them. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't know if he actually followed up on that or not. I know he said he's going to try to get a deal on them, but... Um, yeah, they are stocking uh, the clown from Spawn now at Walmart. So, um, I don't know if that's the correct sticker or not. Uh, but yeah, there are two of them here. So, I haven't seen these at Target. First time I've seen them at Walmart. So, we also have Sub-Zero back there in that two-pack. And there's stacks of those. Uh, up here, uh, we have some Alien. Of course, a Multiverse Misplaced. Uh, and two of these packs from Team NT. So, a uh, little bit more than usual here. I tend not to show this section too often because usually there's nothing here. So I'm taking my Hager, six packs of knickknacks. Just got back and he said he wants it. So this is going uh, to him. So let's get out of here. And we are back in Ollie's. This time it's Wilkes-Bear Ollie's. They did these Boondock Saints figures, which we saw earlier in the video, I believe. Uh, of course, there's thousands of arrays. But down below here, we have some Marvel Legends. So uh, I only see two here, but we do have the Sunspot from the Strong Guy Wave, $9.99. Uh, and we do have the Warpath, which this is a really great base body. I think this is the Omega Red body, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think there's butterflies with this dude. Um, really good body to have for a lot of different reasons for customization. But uh, pretty cool to see. Might grab an extra Warpath. Uh, but yeah, Marvel Legends showing up here at your Ollie's. So uh, check them out if you are near Ollie's. It's uh, good stuff cheap. And we are rolling into the Wilkes Bear Target. The Wilkes Bear Target. And so here in the Wilkes-Barre, Pennsylvania, Target, they have the new Revelations figures. So first time seeing Spikor here. He looks pretty intimidating again. I did not watch the cartoon yet. They do have Beast Man, which I have not bought any figures from Revelations, but I really was considering Beast Man, even though I haven't watched it. So Beast Man is here on the peg. Of course, we have all the He-Man stuff. We have Tila up top. So Tila is here on the peg as well. In front, more Tila sitting here. There's Man at Arms. He's also here. First time seeing him out there. More of the Beast Man. And then, of course, Skeletor and everybody else. So, new figures hitting. The and back behind, we do have the Thing, which we saw earlier. Of course, we have all the Returnals. We have AOA Series 2 Rogue. All the little guys are up there. And we have a Black Friday special on Marvel and WWE. BOGO. Buy one, get the second one 50% off. So, I know they did have the the three uh by two get a third three so now that's going on as well so other than that uh not much going on down here we basically have our typical peg warmers for gi joe and our dc stuff is here as well but uh the deal is going on but here they also restrict what you can get as far as how many so uh and back here again we saw most of this stuff and the collectible section here at the wilkes bear target as you can see pretty dry we do have some king kong going on pops 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 some super seven Warhammer, but not much else. But I think we're going to call it a hunt here. So thanks for watching, everybody. If you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications. You're going to be posting new content here on the channel. Uh, leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. 
And if you want daily updates, check us out at Instagram at disavowed underscore 12. So take care, stay healthy, and I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs.